All right, welcome back. So let's add some eyeballs. So let's go ahead and jump back over to object mode. We're gonna create a new object and we're gonna use the 3D cursor here. We haven't really talked too much about the 3D cursor, but it's very powerful if you know how to use it. So what we could do is click on the tool over here um, and then kind of move the the uh, cursor you know, around wherever we'd want. But what I like to do is hold shift and then right click and that will just do it automatically. So you can shift right click anywhere you want and that'll quickly move your 3D cursor. That way you don't have to keep switching back and forth to different tools. And I'm gonna go to front mode just to make sure it looks pretty centered. I'm just shift right click and kind of get in the center of the eye there. And what the 3D cursor is gonna do is whenever we go to add an eyeball, it's gonna appear right there because of that 3D cursor. So let's add an eyeball with shift A and we'll do mesh UV sphere. And let's increase it a little bit, just kind of scale it up. So it kind of fits inside of our little eye socket there. So maybe somewhere around 2.5 maybe. And let's rotate it on the X axis, maybe 90 degrees. That way it's the uh, little UVs are kind of, kind of look like an eyeball is looking at you there. And that looks pretty good. And we could do an auto mirror, uh, but watch what happens uh, with the auto mirror. So you kind of have to pick and choose when you use uh, the auto mirror. So if I clicked auto mirror, it doesn't actually put an eyeball on this side. It just cuts our eyeball in half. So let's just undo that. And what we want to do is just use a regular mirror modifier. So click on your eyeball. Let's go ahead and name it eyeball. And we'll add a mirror modifier, second column, kind of near the middle. And nothing happened. And that's because we have to tell Blender what we want to use as a mirror. So we can just click on mirror object and then find our elephant. Bloop. And there we go. So now we've got eyeballs kind of sticking out. And so sticking out a little too far. So let's grab one of these eyeballs, hit G and Y, and just kind of push it back into the eyeball to where they're kind of sitting out like that. That looks pretty good. And we can just twiddle that mirror modifier up. And now we need to make the pupil. So let's just click on one of the eyeballs here, hit Shift D to duplicate it. So notice we've got a duplicate, um, you know, just hit escape. And now there's actually two eyeballs right on top of each other. So just hit S and that will scale it on down. So just kind of make a smaller uh, pupil there, just somewhere in there. Just kind of eyeball it, ha, and then hit G and Y. And that will let us kind of move it out and just make a pupil right there in the center. And notice since we duplicated this original eye, the second object that we created also has the same mirror modifier. So just working, you know, letting Blender work for us is great. And we can even add some color to that just to kind of make it look a little better. So make sure you have your uh, pupil selected. We can rename that pupil and go to our material and say new and change that to black. There, now we're talking. Now we've got this adorable <laughs> scared elephant. So I'll turn my overlays back on. But notice we still have, everything's kind of um, separate from each other. So if we grab our elephant and move it around, you know, our eyeball is going to go all over the place because it's mirroring off of our elephant, but we want it to stay together. So what we can do is parent these together. And I want to show you a new way to parent. Usually we'll, we'll come in here and we'll shift and drag onto those. But another way you can do it is, you know, say if you had like hundreds of layers and you didn't want to go dig through a bunch of stuff, you can always just click on the first object and then shift click on the second and then do control P to set parent to. And you can just do object. And then now if we move the eyeball around, those pupils will stay with it. I'm just gonna hit escape. And then we're gonna take the eyeball and hold shift and click on the elephant and do control P and set object. And notice it did the exact same thing in our layers. Everything's in here. So we have our eyeball and then inside the eyeball, we have our pupil. So everything's kind of piggybacking onto um, 
its parent. And the elephant is our master parent. So now when we hit G and move, everything stays together really nicely. And another thing that I like to do is just kind of flatten the bottoms of the feet. They're pretty flat right now. Let's go into front view. Um, you know, they would probably 3D print, but we've got this itty bitty curve that may be a little difficult for some, uh, you know, just for the base foundation of our 3D print when it starts. So let's just add another cube. So we'll do, I'll just reset the cursor to the middle. So just shift, right click into the middle. That's pretty good. And we'll do shift A to add a cube. And we can just call that maybe cut cube like that. And then hit G and Z, bring it down to the bottom. Make sure it's hitting all of our elephant feet there, G and Y. G and Y, just kind of make that centered there. That looks pretty good. So now, you know, just look around, make sure everything's covered, and we're going to Boolean difference this. So we're gonna click on the cube, shift click on the elephant and do control minus on the numpad. And that is going to chop off a little bit of our feet just to give us some kind of a flat bottom. Again, we'll click on the cube and shift click on the elephant and do control P to control our parent, and we'll do object. And now, again, everything moves together. And one other thing I wanted to show you, um, it doesn't really affect the actual 3D printing, but if we go into edit mode and hit and select the top of our little tusks here, you can actually, you know, we could shift click every single one of these and kind of highlight everything. But what I like to do sometimes is just click on the, the top one and then hit control plus on your numpad and that will slowly increase your selection. So just hit control plus and get the, you know, the, the tip of that tusk there. And what we're gonna do is add another material on our materials panel. So just hit this plus again. And then we're going to assign a new color. And you can, you know, hit new and change that to any color you want. I'm just gonna leave it right there at white. But now, if we go back to object mode, we've got some uh, you know, some white tusks. So that's just optional, but I wanted to show you all that uh, just in case you did wanna do like multi-colors uh, for any reason, or if you wanted to you know, export uh, a photograph of your, your design here. So I don't know about y'all, but this is looking pretty awesome. I'm super excited with this. If you have some kids, this would be a great way to, uh, you know, introduce 3D printing to them, make some toys with your kids. That would be great. Um, and I would love to see anything you create on the Discord, but let's go ahead and jump into the next video where I'm gonna show you how to do um, some mesh analysis and get this ready for 3D printing.